Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to make your inclinometer and dot app, which is basically to measure at tilt angle uh, in your Android. So let's begin. I'll also publish this app in the Play Store and link for which I'll give in the description below. Okay, so I'll name it as inclinometer to measure tilt. I'll just give some space here. Let's see things I leave it as it is. It will be of course my package program world and minimum HD I'm putting at 30, but you can also increase because I will be publishing it on the Play Store. So I'll be a bit careful uh, with all the specification in this case. So I'll wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. Once the environment loads, uh, first and foremost, what I'll do is I'll import a image asset, which is basically my logo of my Channel, which is programmer world okay, underscore or I will just put it programmer world like that and I'll then browse it and import the, my logo and click on next and finish once the image is uh, done what I'll do is I'll go to manifest file and update my icon so there are two things I have to update one is this one so here I can just put my programmer world and there will be one round icon. So here I'll put programmable underscore round. Perfect. So you can see here a small icon will come with your particular image, whatever image you are importing. Now the other thing that I'll need is I'll need to declare in the manifest file a permission for high sampling rate sensors. So normally it's not required. So I think it will give a warning if you hover over it. Most apps don't need it, but this app is specifically for uh, this uh, amazing the sensors right that tilt so I think this that should be fine now I'll go to my uh, coding part and over here first and foremost I'll put an image view this is just for like cosmetics purpose where I'll just use my image as it is to display it nicely over here perfect this is the logo of my channel and I think there's some things I will I can give it some constraint from top and I can make it constraint as center horizontally so it will take care. Perfect. Apart from that, I think we can use this text view to print our output. Text view, angle, uh, output. And over here, again, I think place of things I leave it as it is. I can give it a bit, make it a bit higher, and I can give it certain attributes. Say, for example, the size I can increase to probably 60 could be a too much, or less than that, 48 could be a better one. And I will also make it probably bold. So we will be bold and if you come here, make it just true. That's all. And since this will be in a, okay, so by default, I'll make it a, the text to be not a hello world, but zero. And it should be a zero degree, right? Uh, so I'll put one more text view and that text view will be, again, uh, I'll do one thing, I'll just, give it some constraints i'll make it a bit bigger because it's a designing part right so and for degree i'll make it a probably an o i'm not sure i think a small o looks better and i'll bring it a little bit over here and in fact i can make it closer so i can make it as close as five and i'll make this also as bold bold will look better in the actual layout so i'll just make it true so that's all if i scroll back the size is still a bit tad smaller so i'll do one thing i'll increase the size also uh, not very big it should be a small but let me see how does 24 looks uh, looks better yeah so i leave it as it as uh, it is now if i go back and say for example when the value changes to say for example 180 degree so see it automatically takes care of the movement uh, accordingly or I will do one thing I will just make it a little bit bigger say for example 34 let me see and yeah this looks better to me anyway we can always keep updating it uh, as per the need so I will run it in the uh, emulator so that I can visualize it how it will come in the emulator and I'll do one thing I'll change it back to 0 degree and not 180 degree I want to start with geodigger. 
perfect and then i'll put a button probably a toggle button because i will be pausing and resuming it uh, as per a need and if i scroll down the name uh, of the button could be toggle button that's fine again i'll give it some constraint from top and mark the center so for example i think i marked this also center right yeah, this also center so fine and over here if you scroll down the text on off and on so when it's off that time you can mark it as pause the text and when it becomes on the other case you can mark it as resume perfect okay now we'll go to our java code and quickly define one button on click so i think that public wide button toggle you you and if i go back to my layout over here in the button there would be an attribute called on click let me see if it's there or not yes it's there and you just it doesn't seem to be coming i think there's some it's okay so i think the issue is i have to press alt import the class yeah please do it i'm not sure why it is not happening so i was expecting it to so it's now giving me an option of alt enter uh yeah just press that and click on the first one yeah this is what i was expecting so now if i go back to my layout and toggle button and i'm yeah this is what i was expecting it to come up over here perfect so i think in the meantime my device has also come up if i bring it up yeah. so why it's showing 180 degree is because i think initially i had given 180 that the time when i launched it so let me rerun and see how it comes up in the meantime i'll do one thing i'll define my class variables over here so i think i just need one class variable which is basically the text view text view and name of the variable i can match it to the widget name which is output and in the own treatment itself i will associate it with that one so find view by id r dot id dot text view no text view output i think i have to put it output because the other one is the text view yeah my app is launching perfect so it came so see this text changes automatically so that's taken care and but this is a little bit off so i'll do one thing i'll again do some cosmetic changes i'll pause and do it uh, perfect so i have done some cosmetic changes uh, very minor uh, one is i increase the size of this one further to 60 and i also increase the text size of this one to say for example i think uh, 34 is clear and make it bold that's all and also a bit of uh, layout so that it looks more aligned and more crisp and clear now going back to the uh, java code quickly over here what i'll do is okay the spelling is wrong so over here i'll just correct it so this is fine and apart from that i will define another class variable called toggle button because i will have to access that also from here and here i'll just define find you by id r dot id dot toggle button so i'm not sure why that 2 is there let me go back to to my layout yeah it's 2 so i'm not sure why 2 came but it's okay it doesn't matter anyway it's just a variable name and now i can do on the coding part so here again we'll need some class videos first before we proceed there. so i'll just define one by one one is a sensor manager responsible for most of the stuff and then a couple of sensors sensors so one could be sensor accelerometer a spelling could be anything it doesn't matter it's anyway just a variable name local variable name and then one could be magnetic field so these are the only two i think the sensors which i'll be using in this particular case and there could be few float variables what we may need a float array uh, to be honest and one could be float gravity we'll see uh, the use of this once we do the implementation so we'll need a float gravity of size 3 probably one for x one for y and one for z direction so control c control v and the another one what we we'll need is float for magnetic field i guess right so i can just name it as geomagnetic 
and this will be an again an array of float 3 so that's fine then what else I'll need is probably an float of to measure the orientation angle so that's the one which will in fact have our actual output angles and this will be again a float of of 3 but here please note the first one will be for uh, the index one will be for or I can do like this 0 will be for digit axis 1 will be for x and 2 will be for y so we'll be use the 1 because that's what we need uh, in the x direction not on z and uh, y direction and then what else I'll need is again I'll need a okay so this will compute the angles and then I'll need something called for display so if any kind of for editing is required on this so that's what I'll do in this particular uh, uh, array and over here I can define my variable like this and what else I'll need is probably okay I'll again copy paste one of these control C control V control V so one I'll need is rotation matrix I think that's not we have defined till now so that will be float rotation matrix and this will be a matrix of size 9 okay and similarly uh, I can get an inclination matrix so inclination matrix and this will be also of size 9 so that's all is what I need and one last input could be the sensitivity how sensitive we want to keep it so private this you can keep out of double sensitivity and this to start with we can keep it a very low sensitivity so lower this number higher will be the sensitivity perfect no we can start one more thing I'll do in the on fit method itself. I'll set the requested orientation to be always portrait, and the reason for that is because the uh, set the screen orientation portrait. Yeah, this was first one, and the reason for that is because in this there will be lots of movement, right? And I don't want to the layout to keep switching between landscape and portrait. That will not give a very good use user interactions with the app screen. So that's all. Now, let me quickly define one by one. So, first I'll get the system service, system service, and that will be a sensor service. This one we may have to cast it. Yeah, please do it. And then apart from that, the two sensors what we have defined at accelerometer. So, we'll have to get the sensors data from the sensor manager. So, dot get default sensor and then the type over here will be you can type just type underscore accelero okay i was hoping that it should have prompted by now i'm not sure why it's not coming up i think i should have typed okay i think i got it sensor dot type experimenter yeah this is what i was expecting okay then similarly i'll do for the other one which is basically magnetic field and here sensor manager dot get no i should have done manager ah. dot get default sensor and this time i won't repeat the mistake and this will be type magnetic field i think this one so once we have it then one by one we can define the listener for each so we'll say sensor event listener this one and sensor event listener for say for example first accelerometer flow meter a spelling even if you do wrong it doesn't matter but try to be more correct and here we can define new okay i'm expecting it to prompt ha ah, this one okay and here it will give you two methods sensor change and accuracy change so we'll use that uh, i'll come back to that one shortly i'll quickly do it same for the other sensor so first is the main same 
and this one is for magnetic field and new sensor event listener perfect if i scroll down now i have to register these two sensors with the respective event so for that you can do is sensor manager dot register listener and then the first argument would be the listener so this okay let's do it first for the accelerometer and then the second argument is the sensor so here again the accelerometer and third argument could be the speed of the so let's go for the fastest one here yes normally you should go for the normal one but since this is explicitly for the collecting the sensor data so i'll go for the fast one i'm not sure if they'll allow it in the play store i'm yet to publish but i hope they allow it so let's see and the other one would be the for the magnetic field one i'll just register so steps remain same and here fastest perfect so once i've done it now i'll go back over here and one by one i define the things so i'll first go okay first i'll start with this one which is the accelerometer so over here so the data what we get is we'll put it in the float gravity which is basically again dot value and then what I'll do is I'll just define sensor manager dot get rotation matrix. Yeah, this one is what I was looking for. And here I think I need four arguments, uh, input arguments. First one is the rotation matrix. So I just do float rotation matrix. So these two will be the output. The second will be one will be the Inclination matrix, this could be none, but it's better always to give something. And the third one is the gravity, just now we defined. And the fourth one is the geomagnetic uh, array, which we'll get from the other sensor data. And once I have it, then what I'll do is I'll compute the orientation. So again, I'll call this sensor manager dot get orientation. And here I need one is the rotation matrix. So what I'll do is float rotation matrix and the second one will be the values which is basically the rotation or orientation angles uh, this is the output what we get so first before i continue i'll do the same thing over here so it's always important to keep the things up to date the only thing is here instead of float gravity i'll change it to geomagnetic field in fact what i'll do is i will better pull these two lines of the code in a separate method so i'll do one thing right i'll define one more method which will be basically a private void i don't have to return anything and display so its job is only to display the output on the text view and i'll call this over here and instead i'll just put it this part into one common method so that i don't have to repeat the things again and again in the individual method okay so i'll do the alignment and all later so once i have it then the interest first start so here i'll compare whether my orientation angle and the angle which i needed to display but the first argument because i am just considering the x direction minus the float orientation angle one i think i'll do one thing i'll just compare in the absolute part so i'll just use the math absolute method and if this is say for example greater than sensitivity what we define then let's do certain operation basically what we'll do is we will assign or update my this value to this value and then i'll round it off now everything i'll do it is on this one the display variable and how i can round it is i can use a method called mat round and again i can give it a float variable here which is basically the same one and it depends on what decimal points i want to round it so i want to round it to two decimal points so if the 
question will be something like this yeah so this will not do it and then i can use my text view output to set text string dot value of float display but perfect now we should keep updating this text uh, view till this button shows pause here okay so we'll do one more quick check if uh, toggle button dot get text is equal to or equals or equal to pause then keep updating it perfect i don't think i need this particular method anymore uh, that i initially thought of but i think this is more than sufficient and even i could go to my layout and remove this on click attribute over here whatever i said if anyway that method doesn't exist so i don't unnecessarily have it so let me rerun and see if it works so yeah it's gone so now it looks clean in the meantime i'll start the virtual sensor so you just click on this extend control Okay, so right now we can't see anything. So let the external controls comes up. It will come as a separate window and go to virtual sensors here. You can either use any of these things and it doesn't matter. And then, so I'm moving around and nothing is happening. Uh, not sure what's going wrong here. So I think this should have printed. So I think I what I can do it is here instead of doing an equal to check, I can do a equals check as it's a string and let me see if it works now so here i am doing it for two decimal points same thing so let's see how it comes up okay so i think i should bring this up perfect so i can see some changes happening however not very fast and that's because by default the output uh, of this one is probably in radian so I have to change it so I will do one thing again very quickly uh, this should be simple and here I will change it to so divide by math dot pi and ok just load it I guess that should be fine let me see if it works now Yeah, so here we are just doing it conversion form. Okay, so something came up. If I bring up my this one, perfect. But it's still the decimal part is not changed. Let me check that. And that's because the round off is happening at the whole number. So I, I have to just put one more parenthesis. Yeah, like this. Now let's see. So that was having no effect in fact you know, i was multiplying by 100 dividing by 100 so it was just rounding off to the nearest one so if i bring it up but it is still that far so i think i have to cast it here. sorry uh guys i mean yeah small phone things i'm missing out here uh, but yeah hopefully this time it works yes this is what i wanted to show you so it's highly sensitive of course in the actual phone also it will work so one more thing what I'm saying is right now it's straight it's showing minus 90 degree I think I like to keep it as a plus 90 degree this is 0 this is 0 okay fine this should be minus 90 from my perspective so I'll do one thing I will make it as a negative of this one and that I can easily do by multiplying it over here with minus 1 so now I'm expecting it to come as a plus 90 yeah. So that's all. Uh, let it come up. Yeah, plus 90. So this will be now 0, this position, and now it will go minus 90 like this. And since I have put it as a portrait, so even if you are tilting it like this and all that, it will not change to the landscape mode, it will stick to the portrait mode uh, always. Yeah. So that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, video. I will post this, uh, publish this app in my place also, and the link for which I will give you below. Please try it and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I, I can do one more thing. I can just test this part where I just put it on a pause and even if there is a movement, there will be no action happening. Only and only action will happen when it's a 
resume a state so if you want to hold it hold on the value you just click on the pause here and that should be fine okay that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the